Hey folks, welcome. Today we got a really nice treat for you. We're gonna be showing you a really useful technique that almost every pro I know uses, and that's how to manage, load, and unload EDIDs on a Quadro GPU. Now, if you've never heard of EDIDs or EDIDs, as most people call them, they're essentially a file version of all of the settings and configurations and supported resolutions and refresh rates that a monitor has or a display has and when you plug that display into your GPU, it sends all that EDID information down the pipe. And then the GPU knows, okay, well, this monitor supports 1080p at 30, 1080 at 60, 4K at 30, 4K at 60, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the reason this is useful for us, and I use it on almost every single installation I do, both permanent, short term, anything, is that it has two really useful benefits for us. One is that we can actually, with the NVIDIA control panel on a Quadro, save and artificially load different kind of EDIDs into the GPU. And what this does is it tells Windows, hey, there's lots of monitors plugged in, even though in reality there aren't any extra monitors plugged in. So this is super useful for two big reasons. One of them is that if you're developing and testing, you can actually simulate having a bunch of monitors plugged into your Quadro system, see how the performance is, check all of your outputs are going to the right displays, all of that kind of good stuff can be done without having to actually set up a bunch of monitors, without having to set up a bunch of projectors, and all of that can really be useful in that testing process of stress testing your application and seeing if it'll actually hold at 30 or 60 or higher FPS when you have to create that large window. And that's the really cool part about this, because this happens on the driver level of the GPU, as far as Windows and Touch Designer is concerned, these are real monitors. The other really important reason we use this a lot is it's a kind of really useful safety. You know, everyone has experienced that time when you have a bunch of different displays plugged in and you open a big window in Touch Designer or any kind of application, it covers all the windows and then somebody accidentally or maybe on purpose pulls one of those display cables out and all of your windows get messed up and the screen goes black for a second, then it comes back on because Windows is reconfiguring all the displays. I mean, that's a disaster and a nightmare. Now, one of the really great things about EDIDs is let's say you get to that installation. You set everything up, you plug all your displays in. What you can now do is, is go through each display, save the EDID of that configuration, reload the EDID onto each one of those outputs, and then all of a sudden, as far as Windows and Touch Designer and any of your favorite applications are concerned, those monitors are always plugged in. Even if someone has to come up, you know, unplug a display port cable, blow on the end and plug it back in, your application would continue running seamlessly and perfectly. So this is a super useful technique. We use it all the time. So I now have the pleasure of my good friend Hal Lovemelt gave me a system that I could use to demonstrate this and where any desk and remote it into that system. And the first thing I want to show you is right now there's only one monitor plugged into the system inside of the Windows display settings here. We can see there's no second monitor, no layout configurations, just one 1920 by 1080 monitor. So now to get this process started, first of all, you need a Quadro or an AMD Pro card. You can't use a GeForce uh, card in this case. I'm gonna right click on the background, go to NVIDIA control panel. And on the left side, first I'm gonna go check out my system topology. And this is a really great place to just see all of the different things plugged into your system. So here I can see I have a system, it's got a Quadro P3000 in it, and I can see DisplayPort 2 is not connected, HDMI two actually is connected and we can see here the EDID is coming from a monitor. Display port one is not connected and HDMI one is not connected. So we can confirm there's one monitor connected and if I look down here I can see that resolution is 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hertz. So let's say we had an example here where I wanted to simulate four 1080p screens plugged into this computer all right next to each other in a line and I don't really have enough space on my desk to do that with physical hardware. So one of the great things I could do is on this HDMI 2, go to this EDID and click on it. And now I have this manage EDID area and you see I have three tabs. I got export, load and unload. And thankfully these are all pretty self-explanatory. So when I want to save the EDID from one of my displays, I go to export. When I want to load that EDID onto any of the available outputs I have, I go to the load area. And if I want to unload any of them, maybe after the installation is done, I want to unload all those EDIDs so that I can hot swap and plug and play different displays back in, I can do that in the unload area. 
So if I go to the export area, I can see that really I only have one display connected here, display Z1, and it's status that EDIT is coming from monitor. And it's important to recognize what video signal is coming down the pipe. And we can see this is HDMI digital. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is create an EDID because most of the time people don't, you know, wake up in the morning and, and have EDID files ready to go. So I'm going to click on that one and hit export EDID. And I'm gonna find a place that I want to save that. So I'm gonna call that test EDID. And we can see I saved that on the desktop. Here it is down here and it gets saved into a text file. But if you try and open that text file, that is not something that you can actually edit yourself, but it's nice to know that it's in the text file. So now essentially this file here, this test underscore edid.txt file will allow us to simulate a 1080p at 60 hertz monitor on any of the outputs that we want. So let's say we wanted to test with our one by four array of screens. I could go over to the load area. First thing I'm gonna do is pick an edid file. So I'll go to my desktop and grab that test edid. And now you can see I have the ability to select which displays I want to load it on and then what kind of video signal I should tell the GPU that we're going to use for this signal. So I'm going to go ahead and click it on the three that don't have a monitor plugged in and I'm going to set each one of them to be digital signals. Now in this case I can go ahead and hit load ID and this usually takes a moment and by all intents and purposes it will make any kind of remote desktop application freak out. And more often than not, especially in this case, after we see this, you know, E did successfully loaded message, we'll hit OK. But I'm going to go ahead and close any desk and reopen it. And now once I'm reconnected to any desk again, you'll see now here that I have four displays already ready to go. And actually, the really great thing is if I cancel out of my manage E did area and I go back to my Windows display settings, it thinks I've got four 1920 by 1080 displays plugged in. We can also see this even inside of the view system topology section of the NVIDIA control panel. Now we have display port two has a connected Z1 monitor and it says EDID is coming from a file. We can see HDMI two has that Z1 monitor, but this EDID is coming from the monitor itself. So we can tell that's still the original monitor, but we can also see display port one and HDMI one. They both also have monitors with the file EDID. And if we were to scroll down, we could see all of the different monitors connected here. So that's really great because now what I can do, for example, is if I switch through monitors, you know, these are real physical monitors as far as Windows is concerned. These aren't fake monitors or virtual desktops or anything like that. So even if I was to go ahead and open Touch Designer, span an application window across all of them, I could actually go through each monitor and make sure my content is going into the right place. Now, the final thing you can do with this that's quite helpful is like I said in the second uh, feature benefit is that if I wanted to create a safety for this monitor, because right now if that monitor got disconnected, I would have to go through the whole, you know, setting up my windows again, rearranging them, or maybe close out of perform mode and open it again. So I can actually load the same EDID that I just saved onto that real monitor. So I'll go to the desktop, grab my EDID, load it onto the only monitor remaining, HDMI digital, load it and it's successfully loaded. Great, so now as far as the GPU is concerned, we've got four EDID files for 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz monitor loaded in. If any of those ever get disconnected, if they were real, nothing would happen as far as Windows is concerned. So this is great, this is a really fantastic way to be safe with your installations. Now I highly recommend, you know, as much as it might be tempting to just run over when the installation is finished and pull every single cable out as fast as possible, I usually recommend just take 10 seconds and unload all of your EDIDs because sometimes it can be difficult if you saved some very strange EDID like a 4K EDID or even you know a bizarre refresh rate and then you go back to your studio and you try and plug in a 1080p monitor and it starts to have issues connecting with those hardware displays. So unloading EDIDs is just as easy as loading them. We can come to the system topology, click on EDID to get to the EDID manager and in the unload tab on the right, I can just click all four of these and say, you know what? I don't need these EDIDs anymore. It's gonna take a moment to unload them all. And more often than not, this is going to trip out your AnyDesk or remote viewing sessions. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and reopen a new session. 
Now I can see after that's complete, I only have one monitor. If I go to Windows, no more four monitors. And if I reload this system topology page, now it goes back to not connected, not connected, not connected, and only one monitor is present. So this is a really quick and powerful trick. I recommend everyone put it in their tool pocket. It's actually one of the best reasons why we love using Quadros along with Mosaic and Affinity and these kind of things. Uh, there are hardware versions of these, which are called EDID spoofers. Uh, you may have heard the term DVI detective, which used to be kind of what they were called before DisplayPort and all these other ports became more popular. But these are super helpful tricks to use, and I hope they help you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're serious about taking your touch designer and interactive skills to the next level, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. It's the only educational resource and community of its kind for touch designer and interactive professionals. You can learn more by checking out the link in the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell icon for more awesome free content.